Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a really good lighting configuration. This is good for cartoony places, simulators, all that good stuff. So I'll show you guys what I use for all my projects. Um, and then obviously you guys can play around with it and make it cater towards your needs. But this is a good base place to start with. Um, real quick, shout out to my friend Austin. This is for him because he needed help with his project. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. I'm also going to be showing you guys examples of um, kind of how this lighting looks in play. Um, some of my projects I've used it on and it'll give you guys a good idea of what the lighting is good for. Um, so real quick, we'll just start and I'll go over the properties and what it means. So what you're going to need to open is go to view and you're going to open up explore and properties tab. So it's going to be up here at the top of studio, click view, open up explore and properties. It should be the first two and they should be open by default, but some people have it closed for some reason. Next, we're going to go to the ambient, which is the first one. And this is basically the hue of everything um, occluded from the sky. So what that means is if I make this a blue, then everything's going to be kind of blue-ish. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's kind of what that means. And we use this to our advantage to create a cartoony effect with it. So real quickly, we're going to set the hue to this color. It's going to be 105, 81, 20, uh, 124. So 105, 81, 124. It should be a purpley looking color. Um, the HTML is uh, like uh, pound uh, 69517C. But it's really faint, you can't really tell, but it's much better than having a gray hue. You can kind of faintly see it on the horizon, um, but it's, it's much better than a gray hue in my opinion, but it doesn't make that much of a difference. Next, we're going to go to the brightness and we're going to leave it at 2. Um, from here, we're going to play with the color shift bottom and the color shift top. So these uh, kind of talk about the shadows. So if I play around with the color shift bottom and I change it, it's not really going to affect it there. But if I change the color shift top, um, oh, it actually only affects indoor areas actually. So it's not that big of a deal, I don't think. But I still change it. I do um, 125. Uh, 112 and 87 for the color shift top and you guys can see it went from a dark gray to a real tan and cartoony looking one um, so that's how we're gonna do that I usually don't touch the environmental diffuse or specular but you can play around with that um, it's more good for realistic builds which is not really the style that I do so um, I usually don't play around with that for the outdoor ambient, I change it to a lighter tone of gray. It's going to be 162, 162, 162. And you guys can see it makes all the difference right there. It really makes it look brighter. The technology we're going to use is Shadow Map, or you can use Future. Um, and the softness, I leave at point A. And what that means is if there's a shadow, it's going to be a lot softer. So you can see this. This is a lot softer than if I leave it at point 2 which is a real hard and rough shadow. So I leave it at point A and it gives it a nice cartoony, just soft look, which is really nice for cartoony um, simulator builds. Next, I change the clock time and I change it to 14. I usually leave this around 41 or 50-ish, um, but it's fine the way it is right now. I'm gonna set this to 41, oops, just like that. And it just kind of puts the sun more directly above versus over here. So change the geographic latitude to 41. And it just kind of changes where the sun's position is. Um, yeah. So the next setting that I change is going to be the fog end and the fog color. Um, usually when I'm doing it, um, on the project I'm working on right now, I don't have it. But I set the shadow or the fog to a uh, kind of off blue color, maybe like this. And um, I do it usually within 3,000 to 4,000, but for this one, I'm just not gonna touch it. Next is one of the most important parts, in my opinion, the sky box. A lot of people just forget to change it. They leave it this default one, which isn't really that HD. You can kind of see some seams on it. Um, and I really don't like it. So we're going to change it and we're gonna use this sky box. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to use it. Um, and I'm just going to paste it in here. 
and it's a lot cloudier it's got a really pretty like ocean reflection it's seamless it's brighter and it really just adds that cartoony look to it so I'd recommend using this one next I'm going to insert a color correction effect so right click insert object color correction effect like that and under the properties we're going to change the brightness to 0.2 which is really bright, but then the contrast is 0.1, like that. The saturation is going to be 0.12. The tint color, I changed just a little bit. It's going to be um, two. Oh, it's going to be two four three, uh, two five five, two four three, two three five. And you guys can see it's looking real bright, real saturated right now. Next, I play around with the depth of field, and this is just how far you can see. Um, so I'm just going to right click, insert object, depth of field. And under the settings, I do the far intensity 75, focus distance I set to zero, and focus I did 250, and the near intensity I left at 75. And that just blurs out far away objects. Finally, I use sun rays, and I just set the intensity to 0.1 and the spread to 1. And that's all I do for the cartoony lighting. Um, you guys can see it makes any object look real bright, happy, all that good stuff. Um, that's the lighting. Um, yeah, so here's some examples of it. Here's a city using that lighting. Um, I did, let me find some other examples. I did another simulator using this lighting. It's opening right now. See, it's real bright. It looks really good on cartoony simulator maps. And then finally, I did the case clicker map with this lighting. So you guys can see it's real versatile. There's a lot you can do with it. Really bright, really happy, and it's perfect for all your simulator or cartoony projects. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.